Yeah, 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 yeah. I like to welcome everybody to my podcast. Thank you for tuning in. I am your gracious host, Jupiter Nine. And today's podcast, guys, I would like to talk about it, man. The difference between Buffalo, New York, and Knoxville, Tennessee, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, first, first off, I like to say, man, I've been here almost a year. You know what I'm saying? It's been very cool, laid back and chill. You know, and uh, it was. It was mad different when I got here, you know what I'm saying? Just the 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 difference in the people, you know? Knoxville reminds me a lot of Buffalo, New York. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's a small city, you know what I'm saying? Buffalo, New York is like 250,000 people and Knoxville is around that same number, you know what I mean? And everybody knows pretty much like Buffalo, you know? Everybody knows everybody. Uh, Buffalo is a blue, blue collar silly city that used to have prominence back in the day like buffalo was popping back in the day you know back in the day buffalo total people count was like a million like a million and a half you know buffalo used to be a spot that where all the stars used to come you know a lot of music has come out of buffalo early in the early days 80s 70s you know what i'm saying a lot of great music and jazz musicians and not just rick james but a lot of Rocks like groups came out of Buffalo, you know what I mean? So people don't know that. Um, Brian McKnight's from Buffalo, New York. Uh, Stevie J is from Buffalo. You know, it's, it's Buffalo's very musically inclined, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I don't know about now, but you know, of course, you got Griselda, you know, on the hip hop tip, and you know, Buffalo was the city to be at at one point in time, you know, and like a lot of small cities, like a lot of small cities, especially cities. Rust Belt cities like Buffalo, you know what I'm saying, and in Ohio, and you know, uh, other cities like that with the, the 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 factory jobs, Detroit, you know what I mean? Um, you know, uh, they w- went into a major decline. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not many opportunities in those those type of cities anymore. Buffalo and Detroit. Um, Ohio, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know about now at this present present day about those two cities, but you know, when I was going to Ohio and visiting Ohio just to, to hang out and chill, because certain parts of Ohio is pretty is is pretty. It's beautiful, you know what I'm saying? It's not the the whole state is not effed up. So, you know, um just like with Detroit. Detroit, Detroit got beautiful people there, you know what I mean? So, you know. It's not not the whole state that's messed up. Uh, just like with Buffalo, you know what I'm saying? Certain areas, you know, you go into Buffalo, you know, uh, it's popping, you know what I'm saying? The waterfront area and all that, you know? So, um, but the difference, man, is just the, 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 it's the South, man. Like, people will help you here. Like, you know what I'm saying? If, you're, if your car broke down, you know what I mean? Somebody will stop and ask you if you need help. You know, uh, the thing that bugged me out is, you know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, like people will let you cross the street. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That won't happen back home. Somebody will run you over back home if you try to cross the street and get in their way of wherever destination they're going to. Somebody will try to run you over. And, that, and that's Buffalo. You know what I'm saying? It's not New York City. And, you know, when I tell people I'm from New York, they automatically think I'm from New York City. And, you know, I have to try to explain to them there's other parts to New York State than New York City. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's, it's a bunch of cities in, in, in upstate. You know what I mean? Um, Albany and Syracuse and Rochester, Buffalo. You know what I'm saying? There's so many cities. Gowanda, New York and, and Punkemski, Pun- Pun- New York. I think I'm saying that right. So many st- cities in upstate New York. You know what I mean? And upstate New York, no matter where you go at in upstate New York, is very racist. You know what I'm saying? It's very um, racist. I know um, if I'm talking about, I'm speaking from Buffalo perspective, a lot of cities in upstate New York is racist. And it's not like that in New York City, man. Like, no, I mean, you might have some racial issues in New York City, but everybody lives together. You know what I mean? And that's the difference, too, from Buffalo, New York and New York City. It's like everybody lives in the same 
neighborhood in New York City. You know what I mean? You got the Latinos living with the Haitians, the Haitians living with, you know what I mean, the, the so-called uh, black people and this, that, and the third. Everybody lives together. You know what I mean? Italians living, everybody lives in the same, you know what I'm saying? It's not like that in Buffalo. You know what I mean? Till this day, it's still um, segregated. You know what I'm saying? You got certain areas, you know, where the sisters and brothers are on the east side and then you got the west side where you know the latinos are and then you got the caucasians you know what i'm saying they're using in north buffalo you know what i mean and so on and so forth so you know it's, it's still kind of you know they be on that that that, that, that seri- segregation uh racial tip you know what i'm saying back in the day you know back in the A's and stuff like that if you tried if you were a melanated person like myself and you tried to go move on Lovejoy you know what I mean Lovejoy was very racist back in the day you know what I'm saying they would uh, if you were a melanated family tried to move in over there they would burn like you know what I mean crosses in front of your house and all that stuff so very racist man back in the day it still still kind of is still you know what I'm saying before I left home man I remember I was looking for a job and all that because I had just lost my job on some ill stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't, I, I got fired for no reason. You know what I mean? Because my boss, he didn't, he, he didn't, he didn't like the fact that, you know, I didn't want to work extra hours. I just want to work my hours and that was it. You know what I'm saying? And then when he needed somebody, he would always call me and I'm like, nah, I don't want to work it. You know what I'm saying? And I would leave slightly early to go catch my my, my bus home and that was the only bus I could catch you know and if, if I missed that bus then I would have to wait a whole hour and a half to get home after I'm done for my for my shift and it was just like um he sent me a text he didn't even call me so that was disrespectful off just to, you know what I'm saying and I worked at this place for 15 plus plus years but you know he just let me go he sent me a text and then at first I'm like man what I'm gonna do he just let me go and you know people don't know about buffalo too is it's like if you don't have a job by the winter then you you screw you know what i'm saying because a lot of jobs are not hiring because of the weather being so bad in buffalo and getting so much snow you know what i'm saying you, you if you if you watch the news this past winter you know what i'm saying snow was crazy this year got over 77 inches of snow this past year i think it's more than that like 80 something inches of snow so if you don't have a job by the winter time you know what i mean you just you just you just you screw so you know people don't know that about both and then the opportunities are very limited for us melanin people you know they give the caucasians get the jobs first you know what i'm saying and you know there's not a lot of factory jobs anymore they've been pushed out to the the rich suburban areas so there's not a lot of opportunities in the urban areas what they would say in in buffalo new york you know what i'm saying it, it, buffalo new york is crazy man but you know uh the difference uh, the 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 opportunities you know what i'm saying here in, in in tennessee knoxville like yo you can land a job asap it might take a time for the process a lot of process is different here from from home like when you get a job here you know you expecting to be ready to work the next day like back home but nah like they take their time processing paperwork and you know it took them like when I when I was working it took them like two weeks just to you know do my background check and I'm like usually that takes a couple days back home you know what I'm saying so I was getting impatient you know I wanted to get back and get some bread in my pocket you know I had a few dollars when I came here you know what I'm saying so I was good on that tip but you know stuff like that but like the differences is just like the people like you know what I'm saying people say good morning to you here and like you know what I mean nobody's mean mugging you here and it's just like it's mad different like you know what I'm saying it's mad different and then people not trying to run you over in the middle of the street they let you cross and all that it's definitely seven, the southern hospitality and the food is very good and you can get catfish anytime here like back home you can't do that you know what I'm saying back home people are rude you know, you know what I mean Nobody talks to each other, you know what I'm saying? When you pass somebody in the street and they don't say good morning and hi and all that stuff, a lot of times they won't even talk to you. Like, I, I, and, and, I'm, and then I've been, you know, that type of person too because it's different. The, the vibes is different back home. You can't trust everybody back home, you know what I'm saying? Like, if people rob you, set you up back home, you know what I'm saying? You just don't know what, 
what's popping off back home. So your best bet is to stay to yourself and wherever your destination is, just keep pushing and don't be talking to nobody. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, funny story. My queen, she came to visit me before I left. You know what I'm saying? To come here and she came to visit me and, you know, uh, we sitting on the bus, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't, I didn't have no whip or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want one. You know what I mean? And this was I want. I had my job and I was working and I was getting bread. So uh, I just don't want. I want no vehicle, not for a long time. Like I, n- I learned how to live without it, and now it's just like psh, I'm, not, I'm not tripping about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like we got one vehicle is good, but she came to visit me in Buffalo and. I said, like, yo, let's go take the bus and go to the, the, the mall in all that and this, that, and the third. So uh, we get on the bus and this crazy dude is talking, talking to her, you know what I'm saying? She's just Southern hospitality. She's in, you know, it's rude not to talk to somebody, you know what I'm saying, if they're talking to you. So she don't understand the culture. It's different culture, different culture, opposite culture, you know what I'm saying? So she's talking to this guy, crazy guy. He's just talking a bunch of nonsense on how you like strawberries and He's crazy, out of his mind, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm not I'm not knocking that guy, you know, it is what it is. And then I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, babe, like, yo, you like, you don't have to talk to him, you know what I'm saying? You this is New York. Like <laughs> we don't do all that talking to crazy people, you know what I'm saying? If he crazy, uh, just let him keep talking to himself, you heard? So she was like, what? She looked at me like, she was so shocked. She's like, what? I mean, she was like, but he's talking to me. I was like, so? <laughs> You don't have to do that. If somebody talking to you, you can just keep pushing. You can either ignore them. You can talk to them if you want to, but it's not, it's not, you're not obligated to talk here. You know what I'm saying? You can just keep that joint pushing and just ignore them, you know? And she just looked so amazed about that, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, that was just one of the things. But yeah, it's just a, it's a different culture, man. Like, I mean, everybody get along here. You know what I'm saying? Back home, it's not like that. Like I said, it's very segregated and and um, nobody likes each other. <laughs> Word, like nobody likes each other. You know what I mean? People do dumb stuff all the time and, you know, you just be wanting to choke them out, but you can't. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what it is. You, New York is out there. You, you know the vibes, like, People be doing stuff to just agitate the hell out of you. You be like, yo, like, you really just did that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been to New York City mad times, you know what I'm saying? I got family out there, man. Like, you know what I mean? Shout out to New York, man. Shout out to New York City, you know, I'm the Bronx, Queens, and all that. All of me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been out there, Staten Island and all that, but I've been out there before. And it's, yo, I, I honestly, I could not live in New York City, man. Word, I could not live in New York City. Yo, it is so many people in New York City, yo. Like, word. Like, it's mad people in New York City. All all types of nationalities and everybody on the move. Like, you know what I mean? And that's the difference between Buffalo and New York City, too. Buffalo's a little bit more laid back, chill. Like, you know what I mean? Small, Small city. New York City, just everybody's just on the move, like, you know what I mean, if you get in their way, they gonna knock you down, <laughs> or, so, New York City is cool, but you, it's, it's a place to visit, man, I couldn't deal with the rent, rent, 5,000 a month, rent, nah, man, hell nah, man, but the, the difference between Knoxville and Buffalo, New York, you know what I mean, is just the culture, like, you know what I'm saying, um, people are really into, you know, um, the Bible here, like, no, I mean, they take it seriously here. Back home, they play with that. You know what I'm saying? They play with that. People don't take that seriously. Like, here, they take church seriously. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Back home, they don't take that seriously. You know what I'm saying? Back home, people, you know what I mean, go to church to to get chicks and, you know what I'm saying, get fresh. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't, they don't have nothing to do with, you know, the word or nothing like that. People just want to hook up. It's a hookup thing back home. Here, it's not like that. It might be some situation where it's a hookup thing, but that's not the main thing. Like, you know what I mean? It's a Bible belt, you know what I'm saying? So people take that seriously here. Yeah, that's 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 the difference. Like, it's like mad churches here. That's the difference too as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, the price of stuff is cheaper. <laughs> Word. You know what I mean? Like, price of stuff is cheaper. You don't get taxed crazy here. 
Like back home, you get taxed for everything. You get taxed for breathing. That's a fact. You get taxed for breathing. Um, here, it's not a lot. Of, it's they don't have a um sales tax here. You know what I'm saying? Um, you don't have to um get your car inspected here. Like they don't have no inspection thing here. Back home, of course they do. You know what I'm saying? They want every little dime from you. And those are just the differences. Like you know what I mean? Opportunities here. If you're looking for, if you need a job, come come to Tennessee, man. They got help help wanted signs all over the place, man. You can land a job within a couple of weeks. Like I said, they they do their paperwork a little bit slower here, as far as like background checks and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But you will get a man. What you can get a job here, man. That's word. You can get a job here, man. That ain't, that's that's the least of your worries coming here. You know what I'm saying? Probably in Nashville too. But um, yeah, man. Just the uh, you know, people just nice here. You know what I'm saying? Southern hospitality, man. You know, um, it took me. I'm still not used to it, but it's it, it, when I first got here. Like you know, I've been to the South. Like I got family in the South. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got Southern connections. You know what I'm saying? My family. You know what I'm saying? I got um, family in Florida. People, a lot of people say that's not really the South, but it's the South to me. Um, I got family, family in uh, North Carolina. I got family in Louisiana. I got family in Kansas City. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, um, I got family in the South, man. I've been to the South, and it's always been like that. You know what I mean? Every time I go, I got family in Atlanta. Like, you know what I mean? So it's always been like that. Southern hospitality, for the most part. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have your 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 butt heads and you know all that, but you know, uh, for the most part, it, that's what it is, man. And um, I had to get used to that. You know what I'm saying? I went through a job interview last year, and I thought the guy was uh, being disrespectful in, in in a sort of kind of way. You know, um, he called me something, and I was like, what? And I was getting ready to like. You know, man, go in, but I'm like, I had to ask him. You know what I'm saying? He called me. I think he called me like a good old boy or something like that. I'm like, what the hell is that? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what do you mean by that? Because you know, calling me boy and all that. I'm like, yo, what you mean by that? You know what I'm saying? But I had a friend that's in Arkansas. She gave me one definition of. She said it don't really mean nothing. Like, know what I mean? I had another friend. She gave me another definition again. It meant something disrespectful. So I don't know. But I was getting, I had to check that. I'm like, yo, what do you mean by that? And he told me like, oh, no, no, it's not like that. You know, I'm like, yeah, man, I'm coming from, you know, you calling me boy. It's just like, yo, uh-uh. You know what I'm saying? That ain't happening. You know what I mean? And you want me to work for you? Nah, man. But overall, the experience has been good. Very good. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, get ready to move into another um, space in our life with my queen and we're going to get into these business ventures and you know do our own thing man like you know what I'm saying that's the ultimate goal man is to accumulate assets and that's what we're trying to do we want to get land we're thinking about moving to Kentucky man the land out there is very cheap you know what I mean so if you're looking for some land man look Kentucky uh, oh man Wyoming like you know what I'm saying these places the land is mad cheap like you're going to pay a, a half the cost you would pay in a in a popping um, state. You know what I mean? And also, too, you want to... This is constitutional carry here. You know what I'm saying? I think New York just just now are getting... Get, just passed a law that, you know, residents can carry just now in New York. You know what I mean? Buffalo was a little bit more different than New York City. But New York City, they're just now allowing people to... Um, have firearms if you're a resident of New York City. You know what I'm saying? Buffalo, it was strict, kind of, but you can still carry in Buffalo, you know what I mean? But just now in New York City, you, yo, you can really, you can't really do anything in New York. They're just now letting people, you know, whip out the firearms and all that in New York City. You know what I'm saying? They won't even let you have a, a, a pocket knife. For real, man. But, um, yeah, man, that's the differences, man. Just the, the the southern hospitality, yeah, and the food, food. You get the southern food, man. Hush puppies and all that, and um, fried catfish and all that. You know what I mean? That's the differences, man. You know what I'm saying? And the opportunities, you know. Like I said, uh, Buffalo has very few opportunities, you know, very few. And uh, once again, if you get caught 
winter time without a, a, a job, then you screwed. But yo, that's my take in this podcast episode. I like to thank everybody for tuning in. Please share this with everybody. You know what I'm saying? But I like to uh, also say uh, thank you for the support, man, and listening to me. I am your gracious host, Jupiter Nine, and I want to say peace and love. Take care. One.